Oh, welcome everybody to the Pioneer Vision season preview for women's ice hockey. The Pioneers, believe it or not, see the puck drop this upcoming weekend up at the University of Maine. And with the head coach of the Pioneers now, Tom O'Malley. And Tom, uh, it, it's a, a formidable opponent for sure in the Black Bears. They're in Hockey East and uh, one of the truly great programs uh, in college hockey. So your thoughts on uh, opening up against a team that, you know, to try to set the, the, the tone for the year against one of the better teams in college hockey? Yeah, they they're going to be good. I mean, they're they're pretty much in the same boat we are too cuz they they've only had a limited amount of practices also. So, yeah, I mean, they're going to be a good team. We uh went up there a few years ago and and stung them one time and and beat them that opening night. And uh you know, they they're going to be prepared for us just as we're going to be prepared for them. Now you have a lot of uh, a very big incoming freshman class. That's uh, always exciting. Changes yeah. uh, always exciting. So, uh talk about your freshman class and what we can expect to see from them this year. Yeah, I'm very excited about the freshman class this year. We were another goaltender um, in um, some forwards and defensemen, and you know they've been out here working hard. I mean, it's 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 refreshing. I mean, you know they're bringing a new a new um, level to the team. They're going to be impact players right away, and we're looking forward to see what they can do on Friday night. You have a very difficult schedule this year in that there's, uh, especially I was taking a look into the December and January months where you might be playing every other night. It almost looked like a baseball schedule more than a hockey schedule. You like it that way, though. Yeah, it's like an NHL schedule, you know what I mean? Seriously, I mean, we, uh, you know, with us not being in a league at the moment, I mean, we have to take these games when we can get them, and we're invited to two tournaments around Christmas time, you know, right there after the holidays, and uh, two very good tournaments for us to be part of, and, you know, it just happens where we're playing on Friday, Saturday, and then playing Monday, Tuesday. So, yeah, there's a lot of hockey, but at that time of the year, I'd, I'd have to say, you know, it's a it's a nice time of the year to be a hockey a hockey player as a student athlete where you don't have to worry about the books. It's just hockey, so. Well, you have a deep roster like we talked about two questions ago as well uh, with that deep freshman class coming in. I imagine when you set up the schedule, you, you maybe there's a thought going into having that kind of a deep roster as well for that reason? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um you know, as the season progresses any year, you know, we, we've always, you know, liked to have uh, a deep roster so that, you know, just because, you know, how, how, how the season goes along with um, injuries and things like that. I mean, people are, are, are out of the lineup for a while. People can step in. Also with the competition out here, the healthy competition that we foster here, you know, people are able to get themselves in the lineup and, and uh, you know, get some games in. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to help us this year. So. so we talked about the freshman class, but you have some leadership coming back as well. Two captains, Caitlin Gottwald and uh, Nicole Palazzo, are named captains for this year. What do you expect from them and the rest of the uh, senior leaders? Um, I expect everything from them. I mean, they're they're, uh, they're first of all they're great people, you know, and and they're and they're great hockey players, and I know they're gonna they're gonna provide some serious leadership for the team this year and and help put their. Um, mark on the team and, 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 and set it in the right direction and, you know, lead, lead drive the bus. So, I mean, I'm, I'm excited that they're, they're the leaders. You know, Tara Kent and Jamie May are the assistant captains and even the rest of the senior class. You know, I, I tell them all the time, you don't have to have a letter on your jersey to be a leader. You know what I mean? And all the, all the seniors are definitely going to provide leadership this year. All right, finally, Tom, just what you think is most important as you get into the heart of practice this week to get ready for this upcoming weekend and all season, what is it you want to see about Sacred Heart Hockey from your club this year? Just high tempo, com compete, you know, come to the rink every night, give yourself an opportunity to win that hockey game. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, we, we stress the competition out here in practice where, you know, it's it's healthy competition. We're not just going through the motions. We're, we're practicing at an uncomfortable level because that's what we're going to face against a team like Maine. I mean, they're not going to they're not gonna put out the red carpet for us. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be ready to play us. It's their opening game. They're... You know, they're looking to get a W just like we are, too. So, I mean, I'm really excited about this year. I mean, I, you know, all summer long, just thinking about, you know, the upcoming season. We had a lot, a lot more home games this year, which is going to be nice for the team to play in front of the home crowd. And just I knew the freshmen that were coming in were going to be able to uh, make an impact and add to the returning plays that we had coming back. So looking forward to a great year this year. All right, go get them this weekend, Tom. Good luck uh, this weekend and all season. All right, thank
Thank you very much. Tom O'Malley, the head coach of the Sacred Heart Women Pioneers hockey team. Once again, the puck drops in Orono, Maine this weekend, and plenty of opportunities to see them all season long at the Wonderland of Ice. I believe 17 home games, so plenty of opportunities to see the Sacred Heart Pioneers.